All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be going to the Denver Auto Show, so let's get to it. So I finally found parking. The park's so far away. I'm about half a mile away from the convention center. But at least these buildings look pretty cool. Guys, I think this is the Denver Convention Center. Kind of looks obvious. It's right there. Look at that cool bear. So I just talked to Ford, that lady over there. She took my card for my YouTube channel and she said that if I want to drive one of their cars, I can. So we're definitely going to drive one of the Ford cars. I want to test out the new SUV that they made. I just signed up with Ford. They're going to give me a test drive. They said it's cool if I make like a video too and drive it. Alright guys, so I just walked in and immediately you are presented with Toyota's little booth. Look at that grill. Oh, that's a new Avalon. Heard these, uh, the Avalon sound really good. Straight piped. Okay, so here's the new Tacoma. That's a TRD Pro version of the Tacoma. God, look at the Nismo GTR. Doesn't that look nice? I think these are 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. Pretty cool. There's Nissan's cool little snowmobile that they made. Uh, 370Z into snowmobile. It's got like tank treads. I've never felt tank treads. These are like rubber though, not metal. But that's still pretty cool. It's automatic. Front brakes definitely don't work. I wonder how it slows itself down. There's all the Nissans right there. Let's check this thing out. That looks really nice. I think this is a Nismo. Yeah, this is a Nismo Nissan 350Z. That's pretty cool. This is an older Nissan. It's definitely some sort of like race car, I think. I don't know. That's really cool. Here's another little thing right there. Wow, check that out. I want to know what booth I mean, because this is a pretty cool booth. Look at that. It's got one of those old shifters. That's a cool truck. Guys, check out this Honda. It's like a little race car. It has like racing slicks, a five-speed manual. That looks really nice. Bucket seats. Look at that spoiler. They have a Toyota MR2 Spider, a truck I don't know much about. Okay, so that's what the booth is. Sports Car Club of America. That's really cool. Look at this. It's a Pontiac. What are these called again? Pontiac Sol Solstice. Yeah, that's what they're called. As a manual. It's like a race car. Now we're going over to Subaru. Here's all new Subaru stuff. But yeah, that's the Subaru thing. They kind of just have normal cars. I was hoping they would have like the concept uh, new STI or whatever that they showed at the other auto show because that was really cool. Let's go over to Volvo because I really like the new XC90. So in my opinion, the XC90 is one of the best SUVs ever just because uh, they make like an inscription model that's turbocharged and supercharged and I think that's really cool. And the interiors are supposed to be like one of the best. Um, here's all the Volvos and then here's Infiniti. I think this is the Q60, yeah. So this is Q60, 300 horsepower, V6. That's not as fast. I don't know if that's the fastest one, but that's still pretty cool. So while I was waiting for the Volvo, look at that Bentley. I don't think I'm allowed to be in here, but I want to know what they did to this thing. This is not Bentley stand, but it's just big picture graphics. I think this is a Bentley Continental. Oh, they're wrapping it, holy crap. They're wrapping the car. This is like a show to like how good they can wrap a car, I guess. But I want to check this thing out. So here's another Nismo GTR. Damn. It's got carbon fiber intake manifold. I'm here with, uh, what's your name? Ryan at Den Dudes. Nice to meet you, Ryan. Pleasure. My name's Badir. Um, he's going to tell us about this cool GTR. So uh, tell us what you've done to it. Um, so basically, we put the Alfa Romero package in it. It's got the full carbon fiber kit throughout. It's got a custom McLaren paint job on it. Uh, new seats, adjustable wing, complete suspension done. Uh, it's pushing 1,300 horse, so it's got some giddy up and go to it. 1,300 horsepower. That's insane. Did you like? Did you get to like see when this was done or? Uh, unfortunately, no. It was basically just uh, money put in and then yeah. pick up and deliver, and that's about it. Man. You get that's to drive it? Uh, no, Dang, no. Uh, out out the door, the price tag on this one is now 425. So, 425 thousand yeah. dollars. Wow. So the uh, the owner of it is a little protective. Yeah. A little protective. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm in like a I'm in like the paint and wrap and like cosmetic part of the auto show 
Here's a guy, I think he's wrapping this Audi TT. Hey man, could I ask you what you're doing to this? Absolutely. I'm Mark with, uh, is that filming right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Mark with Husky Creative out of Boulder, Colorado, and we brought down a 2018 Audi uh, SST Coupe, and we're just demonstrating various color changes and accents on the car. So this is all vinyl wrap? The factory yellow is okay. paint, and the red, the carbon fiber, some of the blue, that's all vinyl. And you're doing it right here, right? now right here right now basically yeah. wrap demonstration so between now and Friday yeah. just color accents and then starting Friday through Sunday we're going to completely wrap the car so it's going to look like that that'll be the finished design wow so does the does the red and black play into that or no this will all be stripped away oh, okay. in preparation for that full wrap oh okay that's really cool all right Straight thanks on, man. man I'm a really big fan of the new Ford Raptors let me know what you think in the comments and then oh my god look at this I think this is a 350 yeah Ford 350 look at those giant wheels dang it's a dually it's a lifted dually that's so cool. Look at these mini tires. Oh my god. I've never sat in a truck this big. Look at this thing. Look at these wheels. That's so cool. Ooh, that's a supercharged Raptor, boys. Oh, that's a V8 Raptor. Yeah, that's the Coyote. Yeah. Yeah, see, I can see that's the Coyote engine. Yeah, that's the yeah. one that I'm looking, <laughs> looking for. The You're Coyote. looking for the V8 Raptor? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's stock, though. It doesn't come from Ford like that. Yeah. It does? Yeah. They, they, they do a, a Roush oh. and Shelby. But Roush has the oh. contract. That's the reason why it has that supercharger. Yeah, Roush supercharger, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that, that's really cool. I'm a really big fan of Volvo's taillights too. I really want to check that XC90 out. There's still people in it, there's people in all. Look at the S90's taillights. That looks so cool. They've got a, what is that? Guys, comment down below what those, what those packets look like. <laughs> I mean, if the DA knew, you know. Here's the Land Rover. Land Rover, Range Rover. Land Rover. Discovery. I don't know how I like these new ones. They kind of look like robots. But probably my favorite Land Rover. Ooh, this one is nice. Let's check this one out. I like how you can just. I like how you can just walk into a car, open it up. No one's judging you. That's a cool door. So let's get in. Oh. So as soon as I got in, this thing is so bright. Look how bright that is, it's like reflecting all the light. Anyways, it's got paddle shifters. These are like, these are like paddle shifters that's like on every single car. Awesome. That's not supposed to have paddle shifters, like the Mustang. They have like these weird plastic paddle shifters. I don't know how I feel about them. They click fine, but it's all about the transmission, I guess. Okay, so all this stuff, when you turn the car on, the lights turn on in this and in this. There's like a screen in there. How cool is that? I don't know if you can turn the car on. That's the new F-Type. They're having people wait in line to look at it. I kind of don't want to, but uh, there it is. Let's see uh, some of the new stuff. So that's the new F-Type. I think that's 2018 probably. Um, that's pretty cool. You know, Jaguar is really uh, making some new stuff. Oh, this is a new 718 Cayenne. Yeah, that's cool. That's a really cool looking. So that was like Land Rover, Porsche is like right here. Jaguar was in the middle. Now we're gonna move on to Jeep. Now this is really cool. They're doing like the uh, off-road thing. They're gonna drive us around this little track. All right guys, we're getting a pretty cool ride in the new Rubicon. Just gotta wait for this family to get in that I'm riding with. She's putting the seatbelt on me, which is a pretty nice uh, service. <laughs> Does this come included when you buy a new Rubicon? No. <laughs> Thank you. This is our uh, chauffeur for today. So this is the 2018 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited. We have a 3.6 liter V6 in here. It makes about 290 horsepower and 216 foot pounds of torque. with this dude. What's your name, buddy? 
Nice to meet you, Kaden. Is that okay if you guys are in a YouTube video? Yeah, that's okay. You guys want my card so you can uh, see yourself <laughs> later? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a pretty new YouTuber, so. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> you want one too? <laughs> there you go, man. If you guys see me in real life, I'll give you one of these. <laughs> We just went over all that stuff. They're all waterproof? Water resistant. All water resistant. You guys, you can go in the car wash with the roof off. I wouldn't say car wash. <laughs> like <light> rainstorm crabs. <laughs> and there are drain holes in all the foot wells too. So oh, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to take the seat belts off for me. Guess not. Well, that was pretty fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Jeep people are really nice. What? Thank you. No, thank you, man. <laughs> so I just got done with the Jeep one. They gave me a cool bag. And here's Lamborghini. Look at Lamborghini, guys. Lamborghini doesn't give a crap, man. They just put two of their uh, production cars, the Aventador, I don't think that's the Aventador SV, and then they put the Huracan Performante. The Performante is one of my favorites. So is the Aventador, but I really like the Performante more. Just because of the new aerodynamic system, they call it ALA, a la, you know? It's for like aerodynamic uh, something something. So basically what happens is that it sucks the air in, then it has a spoiler. And the spoiler has like little actuators in it, and then it can put direction the air goes. So it can be like really uh, nice adjustable spoiler, but it doesn't actually move and it's really quick. It's got giant Brembo brakes. In case you guys didn't know, they say Lamborghini on them, but they're actually made by Brembo, which is really nice. But yeah, this car just looks amazing. So I just talked to the Lamborghini ladies, they're really nice. They took my YouTube card and they said they would uh, meet me.